Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about sunscreen, specifically my stash of sunscreens. Before we get started with today's video, however, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my channel and also be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a new upload. Also, be sure to add me on all of your other social media platforms. I will link my handles down below. I am doing a little bit of a new kind of camera setup, um, so hopefully it works out a-okay. Um, so I'd appreciate any feedback. If you do have any, just comment in the bottom bar. To let you know a little bit more about my skin, I do have normal uh, skin. I tend to get you know, a wee bit of oil here and there along my T-zone, but I would say I have normal skin. I do have the occasional hormonal breakout here along this region. So I do wear makeup maybe four to five times a week, um, and I do wear sunscreen every day, rain or shine. If it's thundering, I am still wearing my sunscreen. Um, if I am at home and I am indoors, I am still wearing my sunscreen. Um, unless you are living underground, your skin is exposed to the rays of the sun. You know? You've got to think about it that way. You have windows, you're exposed to the sun. And why do you want to wear sunscreen? Sunscreen shields from UVA and UVB rays both aging and burning rays. Sunscreen prevents against premature aging. It protects collagen and keratin and elastin, everything that keeps your skin nice and plump. Um, and it also lowers the chances of you perhaps getting skin cancer. And it also prevents sunburn. So those are a few reasons why you may want to wear sunscreen. Also, if you use retinol or any Retin-A, or if you use glycolic or any acids in your nighttime routine, you want to wear sunscreen. I always tell my clients after a chemical peel or a facial or a microdermabrasion, you want to protect your investment. If you're doing a nighttime routine involving any exfoliating products, you want to protect all of the work that you're doing. So you want to reach for sunscreen all day, every day. So I'm going to begin with Mirad's Environmental Shield Essential Sea Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30 PA++. This is a, what she looks like. She retails for $63 for 1.7 ounces of product. I have used a number of Mirad skincare chemical sunscreens before. This is actually my second tube of the Essential Sea Day Moisture. I recently just emptied out um, the other tube I had. And previously, I have alternated between the Murad Perfecting Day and the anti-aging um, SPF 30 sunscreen. Um, I did Perfecting Day for fall and winter, and then I did the anti-aging SPF 30 for spring and summer. Um, I feel like the Perfecting Day, it gives me a more dewy finish, um, and the anti-aging is more of a semi matte finish. Um, the Essential C, however, falls in the luminous finish, at least for me. Currently, the Essential C moisturizer is my go-to for no makeup days. Um, I feel like it definitely gives my skin a healthy glow with lots of moisture. This specific moisturizer protects the skin from aging and burning rays. And it's also got vitamin C to improve clarity, firmness, and elasticity. This contains Murad's Replenicel technology, which turns water into a performance hydrator. It aids the skin to act younger as it attracts water, binds water to the skin, and it allows the skin to retain water. I love using this product prior to dog walks on hikes 
or on days when I'm at home. I also like to mix the bronzy with the Essential C moisturizer and it gives me a bronzy luminous finish to the skin. I reach for this specifically when I'm feeling dehydrated and I feel like my skin needs moisture and it also uh, needs a glow. So this is my go-to for those days. This smells really, really nice. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the skin. I know sometimes uh, people do not like fragrance in their products. Um, I feel like unless I you know, have a specific irritation to a product, then maybe I will uh, think that it is from the fragrance, but otherwise I have no issues when using this product. But it is a very light kind of citrusy scent to the skin. So that is what the skin looks like. I have used this on prior videos. I know when I did the tea bronzy video, I think I mixed it with the Essential C. So if you're curious, uh, you can click back and have a look at that video and see how my skin um, actually does look with this moisturizer um, over top. Um, but I love this. I actually use this on my clients um, every day. Um, and I especially like using it on my drier, normal skinned clients. Typically when I do have acneic or oily skin clients, I will go in with the anti-aging SPF 30 moisturizer. My second sunscreen is the Murad Environmental Shield City Skin Age Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 50 PA++++. She retails for $65 and you get 1.7 ounces of product. This specific one actually to remember to shake it and then apply it to the skin. Um, this is actually my second tube of City Skin. I remember going to training for this specific product and just absolutely falling in love with it before it even hit our shelves. As soon as it arrived, I made sure to purchase my very own tube. This is a lightweight mineral sunscreen with a peach tint. The peach tint in this color corrects and it also boosts the radiance of your skin. Um, this is actually the very first, believe it or not, physical sunscreen that I welcomed into my you know, arsenal of skincare products. Physical sunscreens protect the skin by deflecting the rays of the sun, whereas chemical sunscreens like um, Essential C protect the skin by absorbing the sun's rays. If you break out, for example, from the use of mineral makeup, physical sunscreens such as this may not be the product for you. The ingredient that may potentially cause breakouts is um, titanium dioxide, which is an ingredient in this specific sunscreen. Some chemical sunscreens such as um, the Essential C Day Moisturizer uh, may cause allergic reactions actions, but again, it is very important that you figure out which type of sunscreen is best suited for your skin. This specific Murad sunscreen defense against UVA, UVB, pollution, blue light from devices such as your phone, and infrared radiation. I typically recommend this sunscreen to clients with sensitive skin, clients who are allergic or um, are sensitive to uh, chemical sunscreen such as this and also clients who are constantly, say for example, in front of a computer, um, their phones or iPads, clients who are just out and about as well and also clients who working through or would like a more even tone. So I'm gonna shake this and then show you what it looks like on the skin. I'm gonna show it to you on this arm here. So that is the peach tint to it. Hopefully y'all can see it. And you can see actually how runny that is. So it is very, very lightweight. And then I'll just kind of mix it here. And that is the finish on that. As you can tell, I am, I would call myself um, medium, medium tan 
Um, and there is absolutely no white cast on that. What I love about this is that it is lightweight, it is fast absorbing, and I really do love the peach tint. I don't have uh, much as far as sun damage or uneven tone. I do have maybe like two or three different spots, but I really do appreciate the effect that the peach tint gives off on the skin. I also love to wear this beneath makeup. It gives you a semi-matte type of finish and it acts as an excellent makeup primer. And I typically reach for this on hot summer days when I am wearing a full face of makeup. That is actually the um, sunscreen or moisturizer that I have on underneath everything else that's going on the skin today. Out of all of the mineral sunscreens or out of all of the physical sunscreens that I own, this is the one that is the lightest in weight. Next on my sunscreen stash, I have the Pharmacy Green Screen Daily Environmental Protector with Echinacea Green Envy Brett Spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. That is what she looks like. This is by Pharmacy. This retails for $36 for 1.7 ounces of product. And this has been well loved. I am almost out of it just about right here as far as product goes. This is my first tube of green screen and I have really enjoyed using the sunscreen so far. Unlike City Skin, this actually blends pretty well with de-bronzing. This protects the skin against sun damage and pollution. This contains Echinacea Green Envy, which contains the highest concentration of citric acid, which is a powerful antioxidant that helps support even toned skin. This also contains marigold extract, which contains anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties, which are excellent for oily and acneic skin types. This is actually my go-to when I am feeling dehydrated or environmentally stressed. Um, compared to my city skin, this is actually a little bit more moisturizing and it has a little bit more of a dewy finish to the skin. I don't get a white cast uh, when I wear this, but I do have to kind of blend it in or tap it into the skin for it to disappear if I do apply too much. This wears beautifully with or without makeup. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So you can see here that is what the sunscreen looks like. And unlike City Skin, you can see how thick this is as it is not running down uh, my hand here. So I'm gonna blend that in for you. You can see a little bit of dewy luminosity kind of peeking through, definitely more than the city skin, which is right here on this arm. So that is green screen. So now we will chat about the newest um, sunscreen in my collection. This is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 30. She retails for $34 for three ounces. Three ounces. This is the newest and clearly the most affordable of the sunscreens in my collection. This is also an Allure Best of Winner for the year 2015. This is a mineral sunscreen that protects against aging and burning rays, and it also protects against free radical damage and photo aging. To be honest, I haven't been using this for long. From the bunch, this is the thickest as far as consistency is concerned. This, again, mixes very well with Deep Bronzy. This is something I reach for on really hot, dry days. Um, this is hydrating and very moisturizing to the skin. And if I were a beachgoer or if I worked outdoors or if I were an athlete, um, I don't think this is waterproof, but this would definitely be something that I would be reaching for if, you know, that were my lifestyle. If you want a product without all of the bad stuff, as chemical sunscreens do tend to contain silicones, fragrance, or essential oils, this could be the product for you. So now I'm going to show you what this looks like on my skin. So yeah, you can definitely see that that is going 
absolutely nowhere. So that is what the sunscreen looks like. I'm gonna blend that in for you. So that is what that looks like. See, so you do have a little bit of a glow going there. And I feel like sometimes this gives me a, a little bit of a white cast. Um, so another reason for me to reach for debronzy to kind of make it blend into my skin a wee bit better. If you do have problems with white cast, sometimes I suggest that you kind of press the product into the skin. This also just smells like zinc to me. Um, out of all of the sunscreens, this one has more of a sunscreeny kind of scent to it. But this one also has the most zinc oxide. The Drunk Elephant Umbra Sheer Daily Physical Defense has 20% zinc oxide. Mirad's City Skin has 10% zinc oxide. And Pharmacy Green Screen has 5.82% zinc oxide oxide. I do also have this Trader Joe's face and body sunscreen. This is a broad spectrum SPF of 30 and this is water resistant. This is actually what I use on my body when we are out and about, when we go on hikes, dog walks. This is a chemical sunscreen so that is something we also have here in this house. A few other uh, products to note are these two by Kula and this one is the is an organic makeup setting spray with hyaluronic acid. This is a chemical sunscreen and then I have the Kula makeup setting spray with green tea and aloe and these two actually did not work out for me. Uh, both of them gave me a tingling kind of sensation to the skin and I just couldn't stand the smell of alcohol and they actually really did irritate my skin. So say for example, I would spray this at noon or right after getting off of work and then after uh, I'd wash my skin, I'd realize how irritated and red my skin was. I purchased this actually for 10 or $12 at Sephora. This is the Super Goop and Millie collab, just at least for the packaging. This is the Defense Setting Mist Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 50. So this you spritz over um, your makeup uh, for UV protection and this is a chemical sunscreen. I really liked this but the sprayer on this specific bottle is god awful. And then recently I redeemed points for essentially the same thing but in different packaging and I've been loving this. This, these two do not smell of alcohol like these two. I don't know if it is in the ingredients. I will have to look at that and maybe relay that information to you in the bottom bar. But this actually works beautifully. It really does set your makeup and it really does protect the skin. Like I said, I don't smell alcohol in there and it doesn't burn or sting my face and I haven't had any irritation from using this little guy. So I think if possible, I'll probably end up dropping the contents of this little guy into this more travel friendly bottle and just because I love this spray bottle and this little guy a lot more. Okay, so yeah, I have sprayed my skin with this and it just doesn't smell as alcoholy as the Kula. This is also water and sweat resistant. More reason to purchase this actually. Depending on how my skin does with continued use of this little guy, I will definitely be investing in a full size of of these and maybe throwing everything or you know replenishing this little guy because it's definitely more travel friendly um, and easy for me to apply say for example on a lunch break or after work if you're looking for something to facilitate the um, reapplication of sunscreen I feel like you should definitely look into either this little guy with and hope that you get a good uh, mist um, or maybe trying to uh, redeem some points for this. I know I got this at Sephora and I'm only recommending this because I do have a few of you ask me via social media What do you know is the best way to reapply sunscreen when you've already got makeup on? So this is an excellent option for you already and that is all I have for you all this video I know this was kind of brief, but that is how I wanted it to be if you would like more information on a specific sunscreen 
cooking, maybe a demo, or if you'd like for me to focus more on ingredients in a specific tube of sunscreen, do let me know in the comments down below and I will get to work for you. But other than that, I think that is all I have for you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Apply a little bit here. Yeah.